All right, all right. It's on and popping. It's Trump the Mike! Okay, first up, you've let him into your hearts and into your homes, but tonight, he's coming straight off the dome. Give it up for James Corden! Okay, next up, he's in some of the biggest movies ever released. But tonight, he's a six foot five inch lyrical beast. Give it up for Jeff Goldblum! Hi, Jeff. Hello, James. <laughs> you sure you're ready for what's about to happen? Am I ready? Mm. Oh, I'm so ready to eat your lunch. <laughs> and drink your milkshake. But they're gonna call you Cordon Bleu. <laughs> Here's the thing, Jeff. I will joke with you about anything. I will joke with you about sport. I will joke with you about politics. I will joke with you about sex. If you ever joke about stealing my lunch again, I will finish you. All right. Joshua! Give me a beat! <laughs> been a legendary actor for years if you like overacting from a guy who talks weird he dresses like he walked into a random thrift shop looked at a rack and said i'll take everything you got you're probably for a movie where they need someone cheesy and can use a ted danson who is much more creepy but when they first cast you as the lead in the fly they thought repulsive gross creature i know just the guy <laughs> Professor Silverstein. A beat, please. Like this, something like this. Fuck, I sing. Let's get back to him. I saw the cat's trailer and quickly noticed you. You were the weirdest part of it, and that's hard to do. Seeing you as a cat was completely unnerving, but how you look in real life is somehow more disturbing. Is there any chance we send it back to the Brits? Why'd we trade Meghan Markle for something like this? And you're a father. I'm shocked you get laid. But hey, I guess it's true. Life uh, finds, finds a way. <laughs> Into my sick heart, scared of the dark. I'm so scared that I'll be eaten. Josh, give me a beat. <laughs> You're in a jazz band, isn't that right? I'm amazed you found a way to make jazz more white. And your role in the movie Thor, you should be ashamed. You're the only Marvel character not in Endgame. And some genie must have had one hell of a gig. You look like Nick Kroll made a wish to be big. And your wife is a gymnast, that's for the best. Cause finding you attractive must really be a stretch. <laughs> Give me that beat, give me that beat. 
When you say I'm unattractive, it's obvious you're lying. You look like Andy Richter, ate Conan O'Brien, and you host the Tonys for actors who sing, which is funny, because you suck at both those things. Crosswalk the musical makes you a star because people tune in to hope you're hit by a car. When you were born, I was already 25, which means I've been a sex symbol longer than you've been alive. Josh, let's end this guy. <laughs> Jeff calls himself a thespian, but he's wrong. You think Brando would have done ads for apartments.com? Your role in Jurassic Park was easy, I bet. Since you're so old, you had a dinosaur as a pet. Where's Anderson movies? You ruined all those. Though it appears you leave the set with all of his clothes. The fact you're still popular is just crazy. And proof they'll bring back any <laughs> from the 80s. <laughs> Baby. You're out, baby. <laughs> yeah, I caught it. I leaped at the fence. I leaped at the warning track. I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Joshua. A beat, please. <laughs> I saw Ocean's 8, and that really was a switch. It starred eight awesome women and one giant bitch. Julia Roberts was snubbed for an Emmy this year, but you're nominated for seven. Sure, that seems fair. Gavin Stacy is back just so fans can view it as a Christmas special. Well, thank God I'm Jewish. I'm done with you, James. What more can I say? Hey, I just killed an alien. Hey, that's an Independence Day. <laughs> Quick commercials. <laughs>